What's up guys, it's Max here, back again. It's been a little over a year since I posted my first Levitron video, and so it's finally time you get to see another one. Quite the unusual Levitron, one you may have never seen before. The LED Levitron that I made from scratch. So yes, it's basically my own idea of taking my old Levitron and remaking it in a way so that it can store a battery and have LED lights on the outside. I'll show you step by step how I made the LED Levitron, and later in the video you'll get to hear my scientific explanation to how it levitates. And not to waste time, let's get started. This is all the materials I used for my LED Levitron. And just to show you, here's one of these LED waterproof capsules that I based my LED Levitron off of. First thing I did was I took a rounded thumbtack and stuck it into a 5mm bamboo stick. Then I slipped on one of these aluminum cone shaped washers. And then right on top of that, the neodymium magnet itself. I super glued the three of these together. I cut the bamboo stick somewhere just above the magnet and then filed it flush. On top of the magnet I stuck on one of those metallic discs from a tambourine. I took the threaded part of that waterproof capsule and cut off the thread. Instead of the LED sitting on that platform with a spring on it, there will be wires coming out. Guys, since you've clicked on this video, then I'm assuming you're into magnetic levitation. So let me just introduce my sponsor, Jowl. Check out their really cool product over here. This is an electromagnetic levitating globe that sits within a C-shaped stand. It's easy to set up, a great desk and office ornament, an educational tool, and it's the perfect gift for family or friends. Check out the purchase link in the description below. So what are you waiting for guys? Get yourself one of these magnetic levitating globes. Alright, let's get back to making the LED Levitron. Now the top part of the capsule has wires coming out through the top and out the sides. With my soldering iron I poked a hole at the very top of that capsule where the LED would sit and stuck the bamboo stick down into it. That's where you're going to be holding on to when spinning. Next I took that thin plastic thread that I cut off earlier and glued it onto the bottom of the Levitron. This is how that little metal connecting plate and battery sit in the bottom of the levitating spinning top. Good news, we got voltage coming out the wires. So from this RGB LED strip I cut a green and a blue LED off, and then stuck one on on either side. On either one of the LEDs, the bottom is the cathode and the top is the anode. The positive wire went to the anode of one LED and the negative wire went to the cathode of the other LED. Both LEDs got hooked up in parallel. To be able to use and light up the LED Levitron, I just had to take the top part and screw it onto the bottom part. And now, let's give it a spin test. It looks pretty cool at night time. It's going to look even cooler when levitating. Speaking of levitation, I then attempted to levitate my newly made LED Levitron on the same Levitron base that I used in my previous Levitron video. I tried to levitate it over one ring magnet, but, but then I came to a realization that the spinning top was too heavy. Before changing its weight, I decided to try two ring magnets instead of one at the base, and it was too light for that setup for sure, and there was too much of an upward magnetic field. The thread of the levitating spinning top broke, so I had to come up with another way for the two pieces to stay together, but at the same time so I'm able to take the two pieces apart to turn off the LED lights. And I also came to a conclusion that it was too heavy to levitate. So I figured out how the top part of the LED Levitron can clip onto the bottom part, the one of the magnet, is simply by gluing on a few layers of popsicle sticks that are a bit curved. And then I can snap the two parts together and take them apart whenever I want to. I super glued the metallic contact plate straight onto the magnet. I put the battery right on top of it and then clipped the top part of the Levitron on. It took me quite a bit of fine tuning and adjusting to get the Levitron to be perfectly balanced. So now there's pretty much no wobble on the thing itself. So now that we're done with the LED levitating spinning top, we have the top part, the lithium button cell battery, and the bottom part with the magnet and clip. Putting the three together, you can see how cool the levitating spinning top looks when lit up. So now I'll attempt to levitate the final version of the LED levitating spinning top. So close. If 
By now you can tell that levitating this thing is no simple task. The failed attempts you just saw is just a little glimpse into the many hours and days that I spent trying to levitate the Levitron. Patience really is key here. After a while of attempting, adjusting, and tuning both the LED Levitron and base, my creation finally began to levitate. This is so cool. You can kind of see how the blue and green LEDs create a sort of cyan and teal glow. Okay, so there's two main aspects that allow the Levitron to levitate in a stable way. The first thing is the magnetic repulsion, which provides the force for levitation. The second thing is the gyroscopic effects due to the spinning of the top, which account for the stability of the levitation. About the magnetic repulsion, the base is simply a large ring magnet with a north pole orientated upwards. The spinning top itself has a magnet with its north pole orientated downwards. The two norths repel, in turn providing an upwards force on the spinning top due to the magnetic field from the base magnet. So this means that the upward force acting on the levitating spinning top needs to be equal and opposite to the opposing force of gravity pulling down on the top. And now about the gyroscopic effect. This is something I did not mention in my first Levitron video. There's a specific rate of rotation to ensure stability of the levitating top when spinning. When the angular velocity or RPM gets too high from spinning the top too fast, the top can no longer reorientate itself so it loses its potential minimum. When it gets spun too slowly, the levitating top can no longer counteract the torque and it's pulled back down to the base. Also, if it weren't for the Levitron spinning, this phenomenon of spin-stabilized levitation would not be possible. I set a stopwatch to see how long can this LED Levitron really levitate for. Turns out it levitates for about 30 seconds, since making this Levitron into a really balanced one is quite the hard task, so 30 seconds isn't that bad for this kind of Levitron. In case you were wondering, here are the dimensions of that large base ring magnet which I took from a large speaker. I may have showed you this in my previous Levitron video, but I thought I'd show you again. This is my adjustable base for the magnet. By turning a bolt in any one of these corners, you can either lift or lower a point. This makes it so much easier to fine tune and get the spinning top levitating. Because of the lithium button cell battery within the LED Levitron, initially it made it pretty hard to keep centered in the levitating spinning top and would sometimes move around inside after a few crashes. This is one of the reasons why this levitating top is much harder to get levitating than the simpler version without the LED modification. The reason to why my LED Levitron doesn't tend to spin more than 30 seconds is because it still needs more fine tuning for its weight to become just right. Then it may spin for a longer period of time. I find it's harder to reduce its weight then add more weight onto it as every single little piece of the spinning top it already has is needed to keep it together. There you have it guys, this is my LED Levitron. After many months of work and perfection on this project, I'm just really glad that I finally get to see it work and I'm quite happy that I get to share this project with you guys as well. Videos like these for me are not easy to make and I would really appreciate if you consider making a donation. You can do that by clicking on the link below I have left to in the description. You can donate there or you can send me an email to find out more information on another way of donating to me. And if you guys are planning on making yourself an LED Levitron, then please go watch my first Levitron video up here. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to give it a like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel with the notification bell ticked not to miss any of my upcoming videos. Follow me on Instagram at max.imagination. Also, I almost forgot to mention that I just hit 20,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. Thank you all so much for supporting. That's all for now, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace!